under direction from the pond guy, we're heading down to Camp Kennan with a truck full of water lilies. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm the Palm Professor here. We are back at Cannons. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's my favorite place to be. Here. All right, so these are Batiger finis, the Southern River Terrapin. The male and female belong to two zoological institutions, Dallas Fort Worth Zoo and San Diego Zoo. We're going to re lilify the pond. <laughs> okay. And it, these guys are herbivores, they're omnivores. They'll eat absolutely everything. She can actually pull me. She can pull me. She's strong. She is very strong. These guys live in rivers <laughs> in Southeast Asia. Incredible, incredible strength for swimming. The other cool thing about these guys is that they actually swim out the mouth of rivers like the Mekong. Okay. They lay their eggs on the same beaches that sea turtles lay oh their eggs. Oh my gosh, The no babies way. will then hatch, come into the mouth of the river and swim upstream where they'll go ahead and grow. She's got a really cool beak. When she opens her mouth, it's serrated and that specializes in cutting through plant matter. So okay. putting all these beautiful lilies in, <laughs> they won't last long. So we got to get these guys out. Oh. I've got to do an overhead press <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, oh, do you need on. me up on top or should, we get, so. or should we get Thomas Please, over here? Somebody, Tom, <laughs> Tom. you want to take my turtle? <laughs> yeah, doing it in the water is not. Oh, grab her gently. Now don't drop her, Tom. She's precious cargo, buddy. Right. Into the tank? Into the tank, buddy. Right in, just nice and careful. All right, everybody, you saw in our last video, we visited Holtz Nursery, an incredible, incredible facility, uh, set us up with some amazing lilies. The thought process right now is to create a little bit more structure inside the pond. So you can see we have basically a big oval. We have some underwater structures as well as peninsulas and rock outcroppings. What I wanna try to do right now is accentuate those with the water lilies. We have to think three-dimensionally in our design. We have that beautiful backdrop. All that vegetation is encroached in. Yeah, it's really nice because this is the native stone that we used here in Florida yep. it's actually sourced from Florida so if you notice all these little pockets this is where life adheres to it really filled itself in it's a lot of native plants some exotics but you know I kind of like that look all these shelves at different depths, different depths are really going to enable these plants to take root aren't they yes we bought all tropical lilies we brought purple joy bullseye which is a beautiful red we got foxfire a pink night bloomer and we got avalanche the biggest one of all we got the giant victoria lily i remember having avalanche in here it's, okay. it's awesome the, the the actual pad has almost a kaleidoscope of colors yes. the thing i'm really excited about are those victorian lilies now they're amazonian is that right that's correct yes yeah, so that's a really massive Pad. It's massive and it's a gnarly thing. Yeah, it's it, got spikes and Well, the on thinking, there. good old Greg told me you were bringing that down, was maybe that thorns would be protected against the turtles. So we will see because eventually the turtles are going to come back in here. After about a month, we're going to allow these plants to really establish themselves. Yeah. And then the turtles are going to have to come back in here. So it's going to be interesting to see well, the buffet. I it's mean, that. it's an enrichment for the animals. In, in nature, yeah. that's what they would eat. So we're going to plant up a smorgasbord for them. Yeah, I it'll, guess we are. It, it'll look spectacular, but it's an enrichment for that animal. Kate's not going to like that. It's going to be very sad <laughs> to see the colors go. So we'll have to think of something else we to will. do. Yeah. We will definitely. The other thing though, I mean, when we start talking about water lilies and we'll look at them when we actually pull them out of the bags, but when you look at them in nature, there's actually like a gelatinous slime. It's known as paraphyton. This is kind of a, a mixture of all different types of microorganisms and fungi and things like that that are gonna be coating this plant, but it's actually where all the fish are gonna start feeding on it and it increases the biological diversity of the ecosystem. So it's actually, there is a lot of beneficial stuff that happens. Every time I hang out with <laughs> with the pond professor, guys. I learned a new word. Today's vocabulary <laughs> word is paraphyton. I never knew that word existed or the slime on the lily. There you go. Yeah. When you pot the lily, they have to get in the water quickly. Uh, five or 10 minutes, okay. the, the sunnier it is, midday, they can't stay out as long. In the evening like this, five or 10 minutes is fine. Okay. The lily will talk to you. If you start to see the lily cup up and shrivel up, 
or it's windy out, has to get in the water. There's a shallow ledge right where I'm sitting. Yeah. This is gonna be a key spot, so I'd like to have something, a massive one, so I know there's some different sizes that we got in, but I wanna get something kind of coming out on this edge. We definitely want something on that other side just to bring out that point a little bit. And then I'm thinking over here by the cave, so it's gonna create a little bit of shelter. I think all the fish are gonna love it. It's gonna, it's gonna create a really neat environment, and then the rest we're gonna leave up to Thomas how we wanna decorate this back edge. The only thing that we have to take into consideration, we don't wanna block the water flow going over oh, the yeah. negative edge. That's right. Because then it'll get debris. We'll stuck on the field. Yeah, the exactly. So we want to make yeah. sure that we have an open channel. All right. I like it. I like your thinking, buddy. All right. I always yield to you. So I know you're the pump professor. You know what you're doing. All right. Let's go pot some lilies. Oh, my gosh. Look at that thing. That's like prehistoric lily, man. It fits the camera. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. <laughs> place Tom okay. you happy with that I think we're good all right let's get another one man we've done some amazing projects here and what I love about working with Kenan r and I'm a crash test dummy, people. <laughs> I love it. I enjoy this so much. Love when you have new products. What do we have, Ed? What are we looking at? I'm pretty excited. So what we have here is our heavy-duty aquatic plant pots. Okay. As you can see, different from most other lily pots you're gonna see out there, they're not just the rigid plastic pot, so it is a fabric pot. The nice thing about this is it is a specialized weave. Okay. It's gonna allow the feeder roots to actually penetrate through. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow those plants to get more nutrients directly from the water column, as well as dissolved oxygen, which as you know, anytime you're talking aquatic, oxygen is key. Yep. Nutrient management is also very important. We're going to be using our standard potting soil. That's that alluvial soil mixture that we I use. I love the words he throws out, alluvial people. <laughs> There's going to be a test at the end There's of the There's definitely going to be a test. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Once we get our plants in place, we also have, check out these. That I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, I'm watching a show called Dark Matter and it looks okay. like the ampules that they inject to kind of go through Schrodinger's box. But anyway, this is not quite as high tech, but it is gonna make life a lot easier. I know for me, because yeah. with aquatic lilies, I was having a hard time keeping mine enriched. Okay. So I was using a competitor's product yeah. and it didn't last long at okay. all. So this is 180 days. 180 days, wow. full season, a little bit different than uh, normal stuff. It does have the higher potassium for the blooms. Okay. Limited nitrogen a little bit. They're gonna get a lot of that nitrogen directly from the water column. Okay. So we're gonna be very conscious about that. And then even limited phosphorus as well. So phosphorus in an aquatic environment does feed algae issues. So we're trying to be conscious of the overall ecosystem. We wanna have incredible plants, but we don't wanna over fertilize gotcha. everything because then it could cause water quality issues. So that is a specialized mixture. And actually the manufacturer we're working with on this product is actually the only stuff that is used on the NASA space station. Get out of here. Is this fertilizer. Very cool. Isn't so it? they're growing plants in outer space and we're growing them in our backyards <laughs> underwater. Excellent. Yes. I love it, man. And of course, you have three different sizes here for we the do. size pots you need. Um, you know, truth be told, we have been filming content. You're going to have to be watching that. And we have been using these and the handles are That's a nice. plus. Yeah. The other thing I like is that when I'm in the water, they're easy to manipulate yep. and they can form to some of these irregular shapes. This is a rigid. Find. Yeah, container. It's, it's annoying to, to try and like shim something. The other nice thing about them, because they're, it is a heavy duty, I mean, these straps go wow. all the way around it. I've already started carrying gravel and stuff like that <laughs> cool. inside of it. You know, it's like you can throw right. rocks in there, boulders, and have a couple guys grab that stuff and you can shuffle it, it around. And it, it, it's strong and it's durable. So that tells you it will definitely hold up. Right. We have high hopes for all these things. So what we need to do is get some of these guys in the water. All right, let's do it. beauty of these 16 inch pots that it's only a one man pot. The 20 inch pot is a two man pot. Let's go feed the turtles. <laughs> I'm feeling very vampiric. Let's feed the turtles. They like lilies.
Foxfire. So we got Foxfire here. Uh-huh. Bullseye. Bullseye. Beautiful. I love that. Okay. Director Moore. Okay, that's a Director Moore. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay, then what do we got over here? Rachel Persnell. Rachel Persnell. I love how the second day bloom looks different than the first day. Okay, and then the queen of the pond, right? Or the, what is it? The queen or the king of the pond? Uh, I guess it's the queen named after the queen of England, Victoria. Yes, the Victoria water lily. All right, what do we got here? Purple joy. Cute. And then the Another last Rachel. one. And there are the tropical water lilies that Holtz Nursery brought to Camp Kennan and changed the entire environment. What do you guys think of Kennan's tropical water lily pond? I love my job. Check out these water lilies, man. They are just blowing up. It's incredible. Upon putting these in here, look at that, look at it. And there's a mermaid living there too. We got a little mermaid. Sophia's enjoying this pond. It's cleaned up beautifully. Look at these Victoria water lilies. We're gonna transplant it into a bigger pot. I'm, I just couldn't be more happy. As you can tell, there are no turtles in this pond. I just can't bear to let the turtles loose on this buffet, all right? I just can't do it. Really blown away by how quickly they took off. But let me show you where the turtles are gonna live. Oh, by the way, there's Guapo, everyone. There's Guapo, he's doing much better, he's been injured. So he's enjoying the recreation pond too. I just bring him out here while I'm out, I babysit him. I was pulling palm fronds, but anyway, check it. So over here, we are gonna have another pond. We've got beautiful plants to plant, but we're gonna do a wetland up here, at least that's the plan. We'll do a wetland, okay? Down a waterfall into a stream with a bridge that'll come from here over. We're gonna finish that dock. And then this whole area is gonna be a pond with a beach entry. And I think that will be an amazing, amazing pond for the Badiger and Fly River. We're gonna do this beach entry because the Badiger lay their eggs on beaches, the same beaches that sea turtles lay their eggs on. So uh, just really incredible, guys. I already started, I put a little tree fern right there. I dug a quick line for some irrigation, but this whole area is going to be another aquascape ecosystem and it's gonna tie in it's part of the wetland here. We're actually gonna build a new wetland. It's gonna come down. It's, it's really cool. I basically now have a moat around my house, see? An aquascape moat. So I'm, I'm really blown away. All, everything's growing so beautifully. We got mulberries, we got trapless palms. That child is growing as well. It's just incredible. So really, really pleased with how this turned out. And the best thing is the water quality is insane because we added plants, which as you know, finish out any ecosystem pond. All right, guys, see you soon.